What the hell? This looks awesome. What? It's my ship. Hey, what the fuck? Don't leave me here. Guys and girls, fellow gamers, my name is Gamesu Kicks and welcome back to Alien Isolation. A game which I'm looking really much forward to continue playing and you guys seem to have joined the first episode uh, uh, very much so I'm gonna continue it and we'll see how it goes. We're gonna do a couple of episodes this week and uh, go from there. Now in the last episode we just had a lot of the intro, a lot of the CGI happening in the beginning and we ended up stranded on the space station something opolis. I'm not very good in memory. Um, so we ended up on the space station and we have to try to find a way either back to our ship, which I don't know if that is what we have to do, or we have to try to find a way off this uh, ship or trying to get it started. So our current mission objective is to find help, search the space flight terminal for help. And that's what we're going to do. And now we can run as well. Okay. Why is it all dark? Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, that looks very undangerous. Uh, dangerous. Okay, we can't get through here. I am actually realized last time that you can pick up scrap and things. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just going back to see if I missed anything. You can pick up some things that are lying around somewhere. I'm not quite sure what they're for, but I believe there's some sort of crafting system in this game. Which is really weird, like, so uh, a first-person horror game is a crafting system. I suppose Resident Evil in a way had that when you were mixing your potions and you had to collect the herbs. So I, don't, I suppose it's not anything new, but it's still something I'm not used to very much. Oh, look at that. Look at the lights. Oh, I don't have a flashlight yet, so I'm apologizing if there's a lot of dark areas. And I can't sprint while I'm in these... Uh, Ducts, air ducts. Ooh. Okay, so let's get out of here. Yes, we made it around it. And um, still, very unhealthy. All that fire here can't be good. Seeing that we're on a space station, the last thing we need is uh, a space leak or something. Okay, so we have the employee launch. Is there anything we can do here? No, we can't get through here. Oh, over there is a door. Let's see. Nope, can't do anything with that door. So... Okay, excellent. Let's go forward. Oh! Okay, hey, 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 hey! Okay. That was okay, that was okay. That was okay. We're okay, we're okay. We're okay. It's just a little tumble in an unknown space station. Nothing to worry about. Just a little bit of a tumble. No broken leg. Not that, like the guy in Outlast who had to walk around with a broken ankle for half the time. Can I go up there? No. Okay, can't go up in the dark place. Fair enough. Oh, look at that. A flare. Can we use it? This will help. Hold Q to open radial inventory and use mouse to select. Oh, cool. Oh, that's what it was. Last time I clicked Q and there was nothing there, so it looked like really weird, like, because there's nothing there. So let's select the flare. Okay. No, I have to hold. Oh, okay. So I have it selected and now press R to activate. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Whoa, getting excited there a little bit, aren't we? Okay, hold your horses. Okay, so when I'm clicking the right mouse, I'm supposing she's like uh, sneaking or something. I don't know. So let's have a look around here. Oh, whoa, well, I have to. I have to move that to the side. Otherwise, it's really way too much light. Okay, can we go in there? Nice. Oh. Right mouse button to aim and R to hold or place. Okay, right mouse, bu mouse button to aim and... Oh, left to throw. Okay, we're idiots. We just threw it away. Can I pick it back up? Can I pick it back up? Damn it! I just lost my bloody torch because I'm listening to instructions on the computer. Okay. So let's see if there's anything here we can do. No? Some you always know working, Joe. Oh, look at that. Keep moving. Oh, what is that? Nice, a bonding agent. Hmm. 
No, okay. Let's see. This is really scary. I mean, if you imagine you're abandoned, never mind a spaceship, if you're like locked in somewhere. Oh, cool, scrap. If you're locked in somewhere and you're abandoned and um, you don't know where you are and you have to find a way out, it must be very scary though. Does it make a difference if you have the radio on or off? Well, it's nice music. Oh, we have our flare again, but I'm not select. No, no, naughty. How can I unselect? Okay, I suppose it doesn't matter. Oh. Okay. I don't know what you're saying. Hello? Anyone here? You might want to say that a little bit louder because walking into a big empty room when Hello? Anyone here? Oh, there's a door. Oh. Passcode required. Hmm. Now I want to know what's in there. Anything requiring a password has to be awesome. What the hell is that? That looks like the space station. Is that a replica of the space station? Because I think that's similar. Well, it looks similar to that. It's a very good model. They're really talented people here working on the model. It must have been the modeling class. So let's see. It's closed here. Okay, so this is red blinky dink. So oh God, stop saying blinky dink. This is blinking red, so there's obviously nothing there. I can't do anything with the duffel bags. Seven days to die. I always want to pick up duffel bags. It's really bad. Oh, use these terminals to update your map with unexplored areas. What terminals? What are you talking about? So, I have a map. That's where I came from. That's the... Oh, this is where I walked in, but I could have gone here. Hmm. Yeah, let me know if there's anything I missed. Like, you know, I know I could have gone further here now looking at the map, but is there anything special or something? I don't know. I just don't want to waste your time now going back. Doesn't anything here work? Find a way to restore power. Well, that would be a good idea. And graffiti. Serious graffiti. I have to laugh. I remember when my uh, daughter was very young, like, and uh, she saw graffiti for the first time. We said, we always said, like, you know, oh, graffiti this is naughty. Like, you know, there's nice graffiti and then there's naughty graffiti. And um, she always ended up, she was only two or whatever when she started speaking. And she always ended up saying, like, this is naughty graffiti. She always had the eye very high pitched graffiti. <laughs> that was very funny. Anyway, sorry to bore you with that. Now, that looks like we can use it. Okay. E, E, E. Okay, it doesn't work. E again. Okay. Okay, cool. So it works. Persistence pays off. We have power! Yes! We access the terminal. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Ooh, ooh. I don't like the sound of that. Will we save now? No, we're not saving now. Let's, let's continue first of all. Access the terminal. Now, when I was asking you guys about reading it out or not reading it out, the majority of you said to read it out, yeah? So, um, I, I will read it out, but if it becomes really a pain for you guys, you know, like, I will keep reading the comments, and I'm trying to kind of weigh it off, you know, what the kind of majority prefers, like, so, um, so I, I'm not intentionally ignoring any of your comments. So, um, let's see, personal, moved our stash. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Oh, that's cool. The, the code, the door, oh, sorry, microphone. The code, the door, beautiful. Don't worry, no one goes, okay, that's all blah, 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 gibberish, don't care, we got the code. That's all we care about. Okay, let's see, goodbye from... Okay, that's shared, and that's, uh, we have a long journey together. These type of things I won't really read because I don't think they're that important. I'm kind of reading over them first quickly and then see. This is just, seems to be just a general of the decommission of the Sylvester. Excuse me. <laughs> it's just like a mini hiccup. Um, Sylvester Pole Station, the decommissioning. Okay, so the, deco the station has been decommissioned. Let's go down. How can I go back? Q. Okay. Audio. Oh, audio. Kill the power. Harris, Turner, get back here now. Okay. Harris, Turner, get back here now. Oh, we have I don't a track do somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're going to need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait up. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Locked it. A track of what? What are they talking about? Uh, bulletproof paperwork. Usually people don't care much about bulletproof paperwork. Restore power to departures. Oh, cool. Excellent. 
We got power. Look, the door is open. Oh, the light is on. Brit. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, what the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Hello, hello, people. Pe what, they just vanished into thin air? I didn't hear or see a door. Can I go up there? Damn it. Oh, I love this. There's so many items. Take all. Always take all. R. Never mind all the other options. Always R. Is there anything else? Oh, we want to go into there in a second. Let's see if this door is open now. No. Is there anything we can... Oh, yes. So it seems that the things you can loot have a slightly different look to them. They look more interactive. Meanwhile, the other ones look more like background textures or dimmer textures. Yeah, you see the difference in the texture. That's interesting. Very nicely done. Okay, so what was the code? Um, zero. I can use the keyboard. Thank you. Zero three zero. F no, 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 no. Zero three four zero. Zero three four zero. Yes. I can't believe it didn't put the code in automatically. Usually in games it goes like, oh, you read it, a bonding agent. Nice. Always a stick a clue is always good if you need to clue someone to a ceiling or something. Okay. Now, I believe this game is supposed to be scary so far. Oh, medic kit. What the hell is that? Look at that. It looks awesome. Field med kit. It's like an instruction or something. Oh, you found a blueprint. Use Q to access and crafting menu. Oh, use Q. Oh, medical kit. Awesome. Left mouse to build. How do I know if I have all the ingredients I need? So here we can see what it takes. We click. Oh! Holy cow! This is awesome! What is this? This is blinking. That can't be good. Can I click on it? Oh, I have no idea how to use this. This, this, this is awesome and I don't know. It takes me 10 scrap plus one injector, one compound B and one bonding agent. How do I know? Oh, I have bonding agent. I don't have compound B. And I don't... I have the injector. Alright, can I craft it anyway? No. Aww. So I need to find a compound B component. I don't know what that means. Is there none in here? They can't just give me a blueprint and not all the materials to craft an item in here. That's just teasing. Oh! That's scrap. It's not a bonding compound thing, Bebop. Okay. So let's go up here. I think there was um, the door behind us open. So let's save and let's continue. Look at all these lights. It's awesome. I like a horror game with lights. But it's very naughty graffiti. <laughs> Oh man, I'm such such an idiot. Oh, let's save. Yeah, let's save. Because saving is good. E, save. Just in case. Because it was quite... We played now about, about 10 minutes uh, of me waffling crap and trying to play the game. So uh, we don't want to lose that and me having to say all that crap again. So this life for... Rept? Rent. Life for... I don't know. It's people have issues, I suppose. Okay, now I feel like I have to look at everything because there might be something I can loot. Oh, whoa, whoa! This station is gonna come down. Oh, okay, I don't like that. Hello! Thank you. This station is in trouble. I mean, I wouldn't feel safe in a station like that. What was that? Look at that. That light. Awesome. Um, I wouldn't feel safe in a station like that. That's constant. That's on the brink of exploding. That's that's like not right. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. This looks awesome. Look at this. Oh man. Look at all the gassy planets. The, the gas. Look at all the rip. Oh Jesus. The fucking door. Yes, we're playing a game in space, and what scared me to death was a door. I hope that was my own footsteps. Yeah, okay. Wow, this looks amazing. I keep forgetting that this is a space station, so I'm going here saying like, this looks like the local airport. And it's like, yes, because it is a station. It is an airport. It is a traveling station, okay. Oh, we need an iron torch. Is that something we can craft? That would be awesome. And then we can just blow the shit out of all these doors and like get straight to engine room. Because I mean, in reality now, if I would be stranded on a station like that, I would be... First of all, I would just jump over this. I wouldn't be like trying to find a way around it. Anyway, but um, 
I would probably try to find a way to engineering and try to get the engine started maybe or, you know, life support, things like that and make sure that, you know, I can communicate, find a radio station to communicate to my ship. Okay, we can't do anything with these guys. Is there anything in here? Door is locked. And you also need an iron torch. So the iron torch is becoming slowly one of those things that becomes very important. It also seems that I don't have stamina. That I can just continue running forever, which is great. Oh no, she stopped. Okay, so there's the stamina. What the hell? This looks awesome. What? It's my ship. Hey, what the fuck? Don't leave me here. Hello! Oh! Balls! They're leaving! Whoa! What is happening? What? Seriously, you're, close, you're closing the windows. What the hell, man? Okay, some... What is going on? Okay, so something I want to quickly fix, I'm apologizing for the interruption, is somebody was saying, and I'm sorry I didn't remember it straight away, about the audio, that the voices were very light, very quiet. Okay, so I raised the uh, the volume a little bit of um, the music, because maybe the music and the voices are connected. So because the, F the SFX and the CGI volume was up all the way and there was no separate voice volume, so which is kind of bad. So it seems that the voice volume might be connected to the music volume, but we'll see. Anyway, we're not getting past this. And there's a nice green door. We can't get through it. Damn. Okay, so let's see. It's all so quiet and quiet. Is that a terminal I can access? Nope. Okay, so I have a feeling we're gonna have to go down on the other side because we came down that side. Let's go down the other side. It's always greener on the other side. What? The what? Okay. Okay. Oh, great! Oh, yes! Power! I like power. There we go. If they make you do it three times every time, why can't they just make it the first time? I mean, what's the point making you do it three times if it works every time after three times? You might as well just turn it on at the first attempt. Oh! Was that a shadow moving? Stupid light. Okay. Oh, there's another terminal. Excellent. Sevasto link. Person, personnel, personal. Pulling the plug, Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't... So I'm in a store. Hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one to uh, coming to Sevastopol anymore. Okay, fair enough, because Sevastopol is decommissioned. This shop basically is in trouble, and um, I'm assuming... Yeah, to all space flight employees, the... In the interest of public safety, on the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol. Oh! So they completely shut down with people who needed to leave. Inside. So what is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all the Saxon, Seekson, working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station. So is Apollo Hull 9000? I don't know. Sounds like it. Okay. I can't let you do that, Ripley. Anyway, let's see. Let's have a look around. If this is a shop, there must have been... Oh, compound B! Yes! Yes! Oh, what, what are you blinking for again? Oh, I can select something and then it blinks. Okay, we have a compound B. We should be able to craft something now. Ah, ah. What am I missing now? Oh, okay, so I have to actually click on all of them to use the item. Oh, okay, can I click it back? Can I, what is if I don't want to use it? What is if I change my mind? Oh, shit! Okay, so this is all assigned. 
Oh, look at this! We got an achievement! Yeah! We're awesome! We built, a, we built a medical kit! I have one medical kit now! This is so awesome! Look! This is so sweet! Okay, we don't need the medical kit. Anyway, uh, is there a deselect? Do you know if there's a deselect so that you don't have anything in your hand? That would be awesome, because I don't like constantly having that stick in my hand. Let's see if there's anything here we can use. Oh, there's a welding helmet and toolbox. Oh, scrap. Excellent. And another toolbox. And oh, what is that? Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive. And after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Okay, now when I find these tapes, um, I'm going to let them play. Let me know in the comments if you want me just to uh, click them once and then you can read the text and just continue with the game and, and ignore them so you can read it for yourself. Or if you actually want me to listen to them. So um, there's a lot of safe points. I'm afraid to use them because I don't know if they come, be, if they come active again. And um, is there anything else in here? Oh, is that a fridge? No? Oh, open vent. <gasps> oh, secret. That's where he has all the booze. Well, okay, before I go into any dark tunnels, lest. There's some background noises which I don't like. Anyway, so far the game isn't very scary. I got, I got scared by a door, okay? So the door was tremendously scary. Oh, that's what the noise was. I was I thought I heard something. So let's go down there. And uh, let's make some light. Awesome. Oh, again, it's very strong. But it's bright. We'll see. Oh, I love being in cramped places. I hate being in cramped. Cramped. Oh, why, why is the light moving? must be wind yes that's what it is wind I can't click any of that okay wow where am I is there anything I can pick up? Oh, that flare intensity is really rough. Because the the thing is, look, I can run with shift, but when I hold the right mouse button, it's I can't run. No, her voice is not coming up, even with the music race, so I'm sorry about that. It's just the way the game is recorded. Like, the voice seems to be in a channel that you can't affect by uh, volume. So I'm gonna try my best to just shut the hell up when um, she's talking. And... But also the game volume, I leave it as loud as possible because the rest of the game is running on the same track and the, and the same. Uh, I can't just make that louder and the voice quiet and the voice louder and the rest quieter. So there will be a general amplified volume. I'm gonna a compressed volume. I'm gonna put in, uh, well, compression and then amplification. So, oh look at that! Oh, you're so cute. You look, you look like what is the oh, what is the name of the movie with this with the space guy? In, oh, not Echo. What is the other thing where he was uh, like he was the, the cleaner, the, the 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 repair bot? Ev Eve, I don't know. Ah, oh, he looks like that little little guy with the big eyes that was on Mars or something. Oh, I forgot the name of the movie. Okay, thank God the flare's gone. Ooh, there's something shiny over there. Can I get there? Can I jump? No, I can't jump. Why can I not jump? It's Ripley for crying out loud. She looked pretty fit to me when she was welding in the beginning, so... How am I so Oh, use! Oh, look at you! You're awesome! The Disney characters' names, I forgot. Thank you so much. You're so cute. I love you. Harold. Ha Habitation A. Harold, thank you very much. Shake that booty, Harold. Save us all. I bet you Harold will come back in the end, and he actually is alive, like a Disney character. Singing and dancing, he will come to our rescue. Oh man, this station is not stable. There's so much damage, and I cannot pick up more than a couple of pieces of scrap. There has to be a lot more pieces of scrap than that. 
Okay, come on. When we get to the next safe station, we're probably gonna call it. But... Oh! Can we not loot anything? Okay, let's go. I don't know why I moved my head up. It's not like I can actually see something. Okay! <laughs> There's obviously other people there. But he was running, so let's see what he was running after. I wish I would have a torch. I need a flash torch. Where did he run from if there is a barrier? So he can jump over things and run and I can't. That's not fair. Hello? Is there a lamp? Can I pick up the lamp? No? Oh, look at that. Is it, can I pick the suitcase up? No? There might be something interesting in the suitcase. I mean, we all know a businessman, you know. There might have been something interesting in there to calm my nerves. Oh, look at that. Travel bags. Okay, maybe they're not travel bags. I think they're dead body bags. Yes, they are dead body bags. Okay, I'm sorry. That was insensitive. They're dead... Why do I say dead body bags? Is there, is there such a thing as a life body bag? Do you put a life body in the bag? Saying like, hey, there's no room in the car. Let's put you in a bag and put you in the trunk. Okay, oh, we can go up here. Yes! This is me in charge now. I'm in charge now. And... Typical. The one time I'm in charge, nobody's there. Everybody's dead. That's probably the only time I'm in charge. It's like in my house. Like, my first my wife is in charge, then my daughter, then my other daughter, then my dog, and then me. Oh! Look at that. That opened. So when nobody's at home, I'm in charge. I don't want to go there yet. I want to see quickly if there's anywhere else I can go. So I can go upstairs. That's gotta be the exit up ahead. Oh, yes! But we need a maintenance, so we need iron cannons and maintenance jacks. Holy cow! Okay, so let's see what's down there first. Before we go upstairs. This is the primary airlock. Oh, maybe we can just get out and eject ourselves out. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, there's power. Power is good. Okay. I'm sorry about the darkness. I like the way they have these lights that are conveniently placed, like to always make it nice and bright. Well, we learned one thing, that we have to turn this on three times, and then it will work. Oh, power level! That's what it is. I see it on the bottom right there. That's why you need to do it three times. It kind of just seems a bit of redundancy there, you know, for a game. Oh! Would all the passengers please sit? We're supposed to be on flight XK45J. Please come to the terminal and pick up their matching body bags. Okay, there's, everything's closed. What the hell? Oh, nice. There's crap in there. I want to get in there. Can we save somewhere? Because I really want to save. I feel like we haven't saved in a long time. Oh, this is getting confusing now. Because there's a lot of uh, passengers now. Is there? Is that the... Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, this is what I thought, that there was actually another way. Um, we can't get into here, so that's great. Okay, fair enough. Oh, hello. Okay. It's close. Oh, looks like somebody lived here. And they they like their women in magazines. Dirty, naughty dude. Okay. Hello. Oh, this is closed. Can't get through there. Damn it. I, you need an iron torch for bloody anything. Oh, he doesn't look too well. Hello. Can you let me in? Can you stop being dead for a second and let me in? <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was just now. It was like a little... Like a door opened somewhere. Okay. Okay, that was a waste of time. We need plasma... Holy cow, we need plasma torch, iron torches, jackhammers. Holy crap. We need so much. So I don't think we find an answer here. We'll probably find an answer back where we started. To oh, maybe here? No, 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 nothing here. Oh, man, another drug suitcase, and we're not getting any. That's typical. The one time I'm allowed to take drugs to calm my nerves, I'm not getting any. Okay, come on, let's get back out to... Oh, whoa! It's just a TV, damn you! It got overpowered, probably. It was the power surge or something, like, Genie, Mac, don't do this shit. So this episode seems to be running on a bit. So sorry about that because I can't find a safe point. It's, yes, there's a safe point. Okay, we're gonna go take that safe point. 
And then we're going to have a good route around in the next episode here, because obviously something up here is what's going to help us get through the doors further down. And I'm still alone. Okay, excellent. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments what you think, and let me know in the comments if you would like to see more. Now, I'm going to record another one or two episodes right now, um, but, um, you know, and I will post them, but let me know after that, okay? And, and continuously let me know. I will read the comments. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, remember to kick that like button in the ass like the gaming ninjas you are, and I hope I see you guys in another episode for anything, this game, another game. Who knows? Be happy. Be happy. 2016. I hope you all have a successful year ahead. Thank you very much for watching. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming.